Well, good morning, kids. It's 5.45. Time to rock and roll. Let's hit the road. I got to tell you a little story. This is a big hotel. Hundreds, hundreds of rooms. And I got up this morning and looked out the window. <laughs> and I saw my pickup out in the parking lot. And I, uh, I went out. I'll show you. Uh, it's, it's uh, whoops. I didn't mean to hit that zoom. But anyway, it's a big hotel. Hotel. Hundreds and hundreds of rooms. And I, uh, saw my pickup. So I walked out. Out the door, out the parking lot, and started hitting my little key fob, and and uh, the door wouldn't open on the pickup. And I got looking at it, and it was just like this one. It was just as dirty as this one, and the same color and everything, and had the same amount of numbered doors, and and it looked just like it had the same tonneau cover. And the only difference was it had Minnesota plates on it. And this one don't. So I was trying to. <laughs> I was corn fused, see, because I haven't had my coffee yet this morning. So I'm gonna go find me some coffee and <laughs> quit trying to break into other people's pickups. All right, get in, sit down, shut up, hang on. May as well start out with a rant this morning, I guess. Countdown to the 100 day three. Um, I've been traveling this whole country a long time and working for 30 years on the road and stayed in a lot of motels and. And I'll tell y'all, Best Western ain't the best anymore. Used to be pretty good. But um, I've noticed they've really gone downhill over the years. And where I stayed last night, that used to be a name you could trust, you know, if you didn't know where you, where you, the, all the good places were or whatever, you could pull into Best Western. And figure out a clean room, you know. And, uh, but this old place was pretty, pretty wore out last night. I went down this morning and they said, or I said, well, you got continental breakfast? No. Nope. Do you have a cup of coffee? No, just uh, single cups in your room. Well, they got this little plastic coffee maker in your room and a little plastic filter tray and a little plastic filter and a little plastic cup of coffee comes out of it. And uh, it weren't good. So, anyway, I'm done. <laughs> That's my rant. <laughs> I'm gonna do good at mood, having too much fun to, uh, in anticipation of seeing my grandkids here tomorrow. Um, I can't get too upset about the motel, but anyway, I figure while I'm here, I pull over and get a cup of coffee, a decent cup of coffee, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and gas this thing up, moist the windshield so Bob can see you out. My friend Bob, you didn't know I had an invis invisible friend riding with me. Bob, he, he can't see out the windshield when it's dirty. We're gonna wash it for him. So, um, I don't know how far I'll get today. I'm gonna take some Gulf Freeway and take a little, some little squirrely roads and uh, try to see some scenery because that's part of what traveling's about. And uh, uh, I don't know if I'll make it or not. I would nothing would please me more than to get down to Grand Rapids tomorrow morning in time to go to church with my kids, my daughter and my son-in-law and my two grandkids. And I don't know if that'll happen, but uh, I've got I've got some country to cover today. But we'll see. Anyway, thanks for going along. Appreciate you. See you later. Here you are. Hi, Christy. Well, Hi. you know, part of this. Uh, if I tell you I'm from California, will that be on vacation thing? is learning how to stop and smell the roses a little bit. You know, I uh, spent so many years on the road working. It was always just go, 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 hammer down. I mean, don't stop till you get there and go to work as soon as you get there, as soon as you get done, get home, and don't mess around. So, um, <laughs> I'm trying to do things a little bit differently. And I spotted something of interest on the highway here a bit ago. And I decided to turn, just turn around and go back and stop and take a look. What a concept. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it. When I get there, I'll show it to you. Well, some chicken houses out here. Or chickens or turkeys. I have to say, the scenery has improved rapidly. I woke up this morning about five miles from Minnesota to Soldier border. Oh, I didn't get 20 miles to the next 
starting to change. There's some cool old tractors too. Some old John Deere's and some farm halls. But anyway, we're starting to get in some timber, some trees, some rolling hills, a little bit of fall color going on. And it's not brilliant yet, but I expect it will be before I uh, get done with this trip. So anyway, I just uh, spot these rigs over here and thought I'd stop and take a look. I don't think there would be any harm if I uh, yeah, make a short video here. They are for sale, after all. a Packard Swan? I don't know. I'm not familiar. Yep, she's Packard. Cool old 59 Ford. I believe that's 59. We used to have a 59. Chrysler. Nice straight little fork pickup. There's another Packard. You can tell by the shape on the hood there and the, the old Swan. That's cool. Had the antenna up on the center above the split window there. Wow, this is a big old two door. I mean, a big old two door. Sweet beauty. I know it's. When I drove by, there's a whole bunch of cars around back too over there, so. Oh yeah, you can see. <laughs> I got some stuff back there. Be fun to poke around, but. Oh, there's a 58 Chevy. But I better, better stay on the road. Hey, look here, somebody left an old truck sitting here. I think I'll just hop in it and take off. Well, I spotted something over here and I thought I'd just stop and take a look. Got us a limo over here, a camouflage limo. Airplane about to take off. <laughs> Must be Snoopy's plane. Anyway, Crazy Jim's Army Surplus. Man, I don't know if I want to meet Crazy Jim or not, but this is Crazy Jim's University of South Vietnam School of Warfare. Well, that says a lot about Crazy Jim, don't it? Look at that thing. What oh, year? That looks almost like the hearse. Yeah, within a year or two, I suppose. A little bit newer, I think, than my hearse, but anyway. <laughs> cool stuff. I'm going to pull on around here. I just Spotted a couple of other little things of interest. Might be worth taking a look at. What is this on that? Uh, what is on that trailer? Or on the? Yeah, it's on the trailer. What the heck, old fuzzy, is that thing? Pull my window down here. Scope that baby out. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Hmm. Now isn't that interesting? That's a three-wheeler. That's got uh yeah. It's got one wheel in the back. My dog. Well isn't that just cool? Cool as a cucumber. Huh? Of course we got a little Corvair sitting there. 
beautiful little Ford tractor. I'm not sure what that is. It's a little bigger than a 9N. It might be a Jubilee or something a little bigger. I'm not a tractor aficionado, but... Uh... Oh, that baby's got a flathead in it. Look at that. Now that's cool. I can get behind that. Well, I would say, I would venture to say that little pickup, is that a, is that a Chevy Love? I'd venture to say it's not running a four cylinder. What do you think? That's cool. I, I, I'm starting to like old crazy Jim. He, he's kind of he's starting to grow on me. Look at that little Honda. Isn't that a cute little fella? There's another one. Another one right behind it. Yeah, old crazy Jim, he got some, got some cool stuff. Chevy truck all tricked out. Chevy truck, not all tricked out. Oh, what have we got in the way in the back, back, back there? I can't make it out. Might pull forward and get a little better shot. Of course, a little 57. And I don't know what that is. Chrysler or Plymouth, maybe, an old Dodge pickup, holding the da uh, grill. Corvair convertible. Yeah, some cool stuff. What is that? Uh, what is that an Oldsmobile? But it is. And uh, what is that, a 62 about? Another 64 Chevy over here. Nice looking little car. Nice looking little two door. Don't know that it's an SS, but um, nice little car. There's Crazy Jim. My God. Hi. Hi, Crazy Jim. Good looking stuff. Yes, sir. Oh, Crazy Jim, give me a thumbs up. Ah, nice. Yeah. See it. Crazy Jim trying to sell me a motorhome now. <laughs> People have more fun than anybody, don't they? All right, I better get back on the road.